You know something? I'm talking away and I forget to turn the power on for the microphone. So you can't hear me. <laughs> Which is what you just said, uh, just Jessup. Good evening. And Rihanna DeWitt, uh, 2001. Also good evening. It's carving tonight, but what I was just saying is... Yeah, it is working now. Oh, it should be working now. What I was just saying is, um, uh, on my works PC, I use uh, a webcam, a Microsoft webcam. But I don't use it that often. So I thought I'd plug it in and see if I could get at least a face cam rather than having to tip this one up. And if I tip this one up, you obviously can't see what I'm doing carving-wise or, or whatever other craft. But I can either have the Logitech working, which is this one, I could have the Microsoft webcam working, but the two just wouldn't work together. I have absolutely no idea why. Um, I might try it again later, but I was messing about with that mainly, so that's why I was a bit late on stream actually then, trying to get the webcam, to, this webcam to start working again. There's something about the two together that I just just don't like anyway. So I thought I was trying to be nice to you guys, you see. Let me get uh, get set up for carving. Let's have a light on. Which will change the white balance. And I'll point you down now at the, uh, the screen. So see you later for now. Let's point you down there. Move the light so that we get some light. Let's see if I can zoom this camera in a little bit. Hey, that bit's working at least. A bit, bit frustrating. Each camera would work on its own. It would work on OBS on its own, but they wouldn't work together. Which was really, really annoying. Uh, yeah. I really would like to get that ring light work, uh, ring light available, but just can't uh, can't afford one at the moment yep shorts today it's warm here it's 24 degrees in the studio and I was just look went just before the stream came live I went looking for a fan I've got one around here somewhere but I can't find one so I'm gonna have to wear a headband which makes me look even more sillier than I do already but anyway yeah, I trust you uh, are all doing uh, well today. What was I working? Oh yes, time to carve the head. <laughs> so I'll just clamp this down. I'm going to have to finish this dragon off shortly. I'm trying to get bored with it. <laughs> I want to do something else. I don't want to play with this dragon anymore. Um, so is not, yeah. That, <laughs> it is actually tennis player's Nike headband. Which my wife got specially for me. Studio's a bit odd here. It's always warm in the studio, even with the windows open. And unfortunately, the the wind has dropped, so there's absolutely no breeze. Nine thirty-two a.m. or p.m. I can't remember. Oh, my memory's terrible. If you want to, thank you. <laughs> uh, that was part of the idea, of course, was to get some detail into the rock. I don't know, but well, I assume it looks like rock rather than tall grass. But yep, it took a while to get these feet to be that sort of uh, slimness. Got a bit of tidying up work to do around them as well, but I was getting bored. <laughs> 
So I want you to move on and, and do the what's really the final hard bit. There's some more carving around the hands and then there's wing membranes. But if I'm going to mess it up, it'll be now when I do the head. So um, that's figured I might as well uh, either succeed or fail at this point. So we're going to uh, we're going to see which it is. PM. OK. Time is it here? Oh yeah, just an hour. You just, of course. I rec do. I recall that you're over on the near continent, Rihanna Dewitt. Sorry, but uh, well, you must be, I guess, if you're an hour ahead of me. That puts you in somewhere like Norway and Denmark, Netherlands, possibly France. I think that's as far as time zone plus one goes. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, well, that's um, that's Murphy's law. I think it's kind of, hmm, it's kind of daunting. You know what I mean? It's 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 quite a complex shape. But I'm, I I hope I am just worrying needlessly, shall we say? Because um, I'm just afraid of it. <laughs> right. So. Hmm. In the reference picture, the dragon's got scales on its head. Mm, yeah, this one's not going to have scales on its head, I don't think. So we're going to... I don't think I'm going to... Mm, I'm just wondering now whether or not to actually ultimately separate the head away from the baseboard. Uh, mm, I don't know. We shall see. So we're going to round the head off. Uh so let's get a pencil we've got roughly well that's its eye position there um, there is a mouth around here um, and that probably wants to be a little bit more of a snout sort of around here so that'll come down a little bit that means the back of the head is, is deeper than the front of the head, which of course it would be if he just turned his head around, which is what he's done. Uh, we've got the curve of the back of the head around there. This is kind of like a, a neck ridge, which we'll sort of put in. So that means we've got to lower the back down. Do you like it inverting? Okay, now the other day I was almost right. So we we'll sort of got there in the end. I can invert the camera. Yeah, I suppose it probably will work better. Um, yep, that one. That one. There you go. So many different ways. In some ways, I wish OBS would remember the settings it had for certain uh, scene collections because we're doing something like the um, the jewelry the chain mail then your best position is kind of like over the other side of the desk from me and you it, a picture that's upside down there looks silly <laughs> so I keep having to swap it Yeah, Wood is telling me I'm carving this in the wrong direction, so I shall swap. I'm not sure, it was. I think it might have been telling me lies a little bit, but we, yeah, that's not bad. Okay, because I'm carving the back down here, it means that the neck is got to have some work done it because it will be too high. And it doesn't need to be much, I don't think, of a, a tilt. 
Uh, well, it was hanging upside down from the roof, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, this is a stalactite. Uh, <laughs> That's one way of explaining it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's... Uh, uh, so many ways to flip a camera. Daftor there is, I can turn this camera the other way around as well. <laughs> it's just hanging off a uh, flexible uh, a flexible mount at the moment and uh, it, it, it's arbitrary which way around it goes. I'm just disappointed I couldn't get the Microsoft cam to work. I don't know why it wouldn't work two at once. I might have to just see if there's anything. It may be, well, I don't know. I have no idea. Because yeah. that, ca that camera on my works machine sits there most of the day these days and uh, never gets used, so. I, mean, I don't know whether you actually, you guys actually feel like you'd like me to uh, to, to, to see my face. I mean, I do look a bit silly with a headband on. Oh, I imagine I look a bit silly with a headband on, but uh, uh, I'm guessing if uh, if I got a second webcam, then uh, I'd have to make sure I've got a fan in the room. But uh, it's beginning to look like I will have to save up for another Logitech if I want to do work uh, to do a face cam. And that's hoping I guess that uh, that two Logitechs will work together. Oh, I don't, it's not. It's not about comfort in this particular case, just Jessup. I'm not. Uh, it's not. I'm not hiding my face, as you know. Um, as you've seen, I've shown it more than once on on stream before. Now, uh, I mean, I'm, <laughs> you know. Now it's upside down, but you, you can see I'm wearing a headband. <laughs> um, that probably made you a bit seasick doing that so suddenly yeah hello AD fall guy yeah um hmm. there's something just weird I guess about it that's um I, I don't know if it's got something to do with the um uh, the frame sizes coming off them or uh, whether the drivers were interfering with each other or whether it's OBS itself. Of course, the um, the lesson to be learned, of course, is don't try plugging in things like extra cameras just before the stream starts, <laughs> which is kind of what I did as well. About, about 10 to 8, I thought, oh... I'd forgotten about that because uh, I was busy uh, uh, looking at uh, content management systems and uh, PayPal business accounts and things like that. And it uh, time got away from me. Now the neck needs also to go down to match that. Um, actually, the neck will need to be lower, but we'll uh, we'll deal with that later. Yeah, I figure it was about time I started to actually set up my uh, my website. 
and actually sort of put images of some of the things I make on there and stuff like that and And uh, since I'm quite happy to, uh, to to sell some of the stuff that I do do, I figured it's probably a good idea actually to set up a way for people to pay for it as well. Um, so I've kind of been looking at that all evening. And since I've got absolutely zero uh, experience of using a, a content management system, it then becomes a choice of, well, which one do I use? Without knowing what it can or can't do, and what I may or may not want to use it for. <laughs> it's kind of like the, the, um, uh, I, 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 I'm in the position, uh, I have been in the position at work where well, somebody will come to me and say something like, we want an application. Yeah, what does he want to do? Well, we don't know. We just want an application. Well, why do you want an application? Because we want it to do stuff for us. Well, what do you want it to do? We don't know yet. It depends on what the application can do. Uh, and, and I'm kind of feeling like I, I'm, I'm doing that same thing to myself at the moment. I do know I do not want to build a website from, from scratch. That's... Uh, that's a given. It, it will have to use a content management system. Uh, I've got past uh, wanting to do everything myself these days. If somebody else has already done it, I'll quite happily piggyback on their experience. Um, essentially, the personal paper Okay, essentially you're supposed to have a business PayPal account if you are going to be receiving money for things you sell. As a, as a personal account, you can receive money, but PayPal effectively consider that to be uh, for transfer of money between friends, if you like, and, uh, and I suppose for very small levels of transactions. Uh, but essentially... They expect you to have a business account if you're actually going to be selling things. And if you want to send invoices, um, I'm not sure whether you can do that with a personal account. You can do it with a business account. And the other thing about personal accounts is if you've received a certain amount of money by credit card from people who don't have a PayPal account and therefore have you know, verified their credit card, um, then I think it's about £100. After about £100, that's it. It doesn't do it anymore. It won't accept it anymore. Uh, and so um, that's the other reason for, you know, that's that's the difference. But then PayPal make it even more awkward because you can't link a personal account and a business account to the same bank account. <laughs> You're going to have two different bank accounts. Um which of course um, I don't happen to have. <laughs> so I also have to look for a bank account. That isn't going to cost me any money. Because uh, quite a lot of banks these days in the UK charge you a monthly amount or require you to deposit a certain amount of money each month in order to get free banking. Uh, neither of which are um, applicable in my case. So it's a, it's a little bit of a yeah, uh, I don't know. Messing about, really. Right. Uh, I don't want to take that back head down much further than that because otherwise it'll get lost in the wig membrane. I don't want that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let's just give an in. Well, let's light it. Do it with a pencil. So we've got the back of the head there. The eye is still roughly there in in the middle. I've got a, yeah, a bit like that, uh, and the, her mouth will put some detail in afterwards. So. 
the other thing that's different about a business and a PayPal account, uh, just just a uh, business and a personal account, is you know I'm known as uh, Zaragan Art. Uh, on the PayPal, uh, I can't use I can't use that business name if you like on PayPal. Um, it will will give you my uh, personal account name. If I were to try and uh, try and generate an invoice or link to it, so. I kind of lose the um, the brand, if you see what I mean. If I uh, if if I use it, if I don't go to a, a business account. Oops, a Daisy, I did not mean to do that. That's not too bad, but it wasn't what I intended to do. I'm going to just take a little bit off just around here, which is where the, as I say, the, the ridge on the back of the head would be. Actually, I'm going to get my skew uh, chisel out for this because I need to basically use it like a knife. Uh, no, they, well, they're okay, thanks. They've, they've been on holiday as well. They got to stay in a hotel for two weeks. Whilst we were uh, away, um, <laughs> actually, they've just been to the vets today for their uh, uh, yearly um, vaccinations, and uh, surprisingly, they have uh, completely. Quite often, when the cats, you take the cats to the vet, something like that, they'll, they'll actually tend to ignore you for a couple of days, which is. Um, you know the kind of uh, I won't say they're having a tantrum, but the kind of like you know, you've done something we don't like, we'll ignore you. Um, but actually, the the uh, this time they've been quite uh, quite good. Felix is actually uh, laid just outside the studio door here, uh, but he what he very rarely will come in. Junior. Who is the other one that will? Um, he's actually spent most of the day outside, um, which, in summer, he tends to do. He doesn't come in uh, during the day in summer much. You know, it's it's uh, it's cooler outside. They'll find themselves some nice shade, and just uh, just lay under a tree. He probably won't come in until something like about ten o'clock tonight. Um, when it's getting a bit cold out there, and then they'll be coming in looking for a warm place. He might, uh, he might turn up on the stream. Obviously, it's uh, not something I can control. Uh, and since, um, since Junior, as I probably mentioned before, used to be a feral cat, uh, he's not really the sort of cat that you want, and he's quite a chunky cat as well. He's not really the sort of cat you want to. Um, pick up and take somewhere against his will at least not unless you're protected or he's in a cage which surprisingly he doesn't mind taking the cats to the vet today the female cat which is uh, um, Cleo my wife took them I didn't I was at work today um, she she always howls as soon as you put in a basket Felix is one that will howl as soon as you restrict him at all doesn't matter whether he's in a basket or you've just picked him up or anything like that he will howl until he's he thinks he's free and um, then but uh, junior he will just quite happily you know um, he'll, he'll, as soon as you put him in the basket he'll just tuck his paws under curl up and he won't exactly go to sleep, but he'll uh, he'll just lay there quite quietly and quite happily, which is uh, which is quite nice. He's the quiet one. He 
he's lost his collar at the moment so we've got to uh, got to find him a new one they all normally wear collars with um, with an identity um, barrel on them uh, the microchipped as well so they can always be uh, returned if they decide to wander off I'm, try, I'm trying really hard not to dig this in too far, but to dig it in enough just to uh, shave this the back of this uh, this uh, ridge down. No, I can't get in with the uh, uh, with the blades now because I start to uh, uh, catch the blades against the uh, this bone here. Hey, Aidy, I thought you were going to stream a game this evening, or have you, uh, have you finished? Or did you decide to bake instead anyway? As demonstrated on the stream. Uh, what, Junior being a chunky cat, I guess? Oh, um, yeah, and... Hmm. Yeah. It's quite surprising just how sort of... He's not fat, isn't uh, in Junior? It it is all muscle, but he's a really big muscled cat. Uh, I mean, there are bigger cats. I'm not, uh, you know, if you get into something like the Coon Mane cats or um, there's some. What is it now? There's some. Is there the tiger or leopard uh, cross? And I can't remember the name of the uh, the breed now. Um, but they're they're really chunky, big chunky cats as well, strongly muscled cats. The other two are uh, well, especially the female now is is really lightweight and and thin. But even uh, even Felix is somewhat of a lightweight. <laughs> no, it's not a fat. It's definitely isn't. He, he's got he, when you feel him, he's he's got next to no um, fat. Well, I suppose they have, but he doesn't. He doesn't feel, you know, feel like a uh, fat or anything like that. Is not like some of the cats that you've seen on uh, uh, on YouTube. Perhaps that you know uh, waddle through the uh, through the cat flap if they can get through at all. Um, Junior does sometimes. You know, he's he's wide enough to to have a a little bit of problem getting through the cat flap, but it is pure. Pure muscle. You only really notice it though if you pick him up. Um, he, he doesn't kind of display that. It, it, it's sort of well, I mean, all the cats. Um, they. Um, you, you can't really see the body shape. You see the fur shape, and uh, we've had couple of cats have slipped into a bath full of water because they um, in, in our house the cats will jump on the edge of the bath walk around it uh, to get to a windowsill they always take a long way around to cats and awkward ways like that and a couple of times they've slipped into a bath full of water and it's surprising you'll get a cat that's about I, I don't know about well I'm going I'm going to exaggerate but you know it, it's a cat that this this big when you see them and when they're wet through <laughs> they're down about this size. They go to about half the size, uh, and it's just fluff, fluffed out. Uh, I was going to say feathers, but fluffed out uh, fur. And uh, they, they do look quite funny that way. Uh, but none of these three cats actually like water. Well, they'll drink it. I mean, but they don't. They don't actually like getting wet. We have had one cat that used to sit in the um, sit in the sink, and if you turn the tap on a little bit, so it it, it ran a thin stream. He'd sit there playing with it, getting his, his backside and 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 his stomach and everything totally wet through, and he used to just love doing that. He'd sit there for hours playing with a stream of water.
<laughs> oh dear, baby. Um, actually, after you after you you left on the school run about three four o'clock, um, I was at work and I was reading a document and I, and quite often I I start I, I get somewhat laid back, shall we say, reading a document. But I I must have read the same paragraph about six times before I realised I was falling asleep. I had to get up and walk around. Um, I, I literally was just nodding off. I don't know if it's something to do with the weather or something. I haven't got relatively speaking a lot of room here to to carve um, and by room I mean um, vertical height really um, because of the the that kind of neck ridge there I can't really, well I suppose the only way to do it would be to start to lower this uh, wing membrane down a bit and I could do that, it would, could probably go down a bit further um, but otherwise I'm getting quite, uh, I've got a, quite a shallow uh, area around here to try and get um, it may actually even be better to, to change this a little bit and have instead of having his head pointing backwards like this, still still twist it, but point it down that way, so he's not he's not twisted his head quite so much. That will give me uh, more scope to carve uh, a round head, but we'll see how it goes. Because at this moment in time, it's kind of very flat around here. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to certainly have to do some relief carving into this area, I think, and that might be enough to uh, to set the image. Siberian Huskies. Yeah, my mo my wife uh, would lo love a Siberian Husky. She, she uh, well, basically, she'd love any fluffy dog. Um, like big, I mean big, uh, which the Huskies are, of course. Um, sort of big, chunky dogs, I guess. She she'd she'd love to to cuddle one, basically. Um, and and just have, I, I guess she'd sort of love to sort of. Um, have the uh, have the thing lay with her on the floor if you see what I mean just uh, as dogs tend to do lay across her feet or something like that um, the only problem with things like Siberian Huskies though is they require an awful lot of exercise I'm, I'm, I am half tempted to allow my wife to have one just from the point of view of uh, being able to laugh at her when she's going to take it out for a walk because those things like sort of several mile walks a day but I kind of just know that the person who's going to end up taking it out for walks isn't going to be my wife it'll just be me Mm. Yeah, weird days like that do, yeah. I've had that sort of thing. Actually, I was quite lucky. That, um, during 
certain uh, weather conditions like um, lightning or erratic mains we used to I used to uh, do some computer main well I, I say mainframe they were mainframes but VAC 750s uh, which these days pocket calculators are more powerful than but um, he used to do some support for those and uh, we'd actually be uh, be in the office um, anything up to 24 36 hours and so we quite quite happily just sort of lay down uh, on the floor under a desk oh, overnight you know and uh, surprised quite a few people when they came in in the morning <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess they do share a lot of hair, just Jessup. Uh, my wife would just love bushing it, though. She spend all all day uh, bushing the uh, bushing the fur uh, to get uh, to get it out. I mean, we do have cats already, and they do tend to shed fur as well. They don't necessarily, well, not all of them like uh, like being brushed or combed. They actually, they actually, a lot of cats actually do like being combed as long as you use a fairly stiff comb that can get down through the fur and actually make contact with the skin because they love that sort of scratching effect. And of course, what you're doing then is you're grooming them so. It's a um, a bonding type of thing. And one of the um, I forgot what I was going to say. Then I was going to say something about uh, cat bonding, but I can't remember now. Let's see if I can get a little bit of the eye shape in here. You have a tortoise. <laughs> I don't think they like bushing quite so much, uh, just Jessup. Uh, tortoises, but uh, they're neat animals. Some of the giant tortoises are absolutely uh, amazing animals. Um, there's a uh, there's a, a farm up in uh, in Yorkshire that um, that's open to the public, and so yeah, the, it's not you're not open to the working farm, but you actually you can. They've got like some petting pens, shall we say, and uh, you can have tractor rides and things like that. And um, they actually keep, they're not giant tortoises, um, but they are sort of um, three, four foot long tortoises. They're big, big things. And uh, uh, at least a couple of them just sort of free roam around the place. So you can be going going through a doorway and there's this moving rock in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, under his chin on his head. Yeah. It's amazing how many animals actually love that. <laughs> cats do as well. But cats um cats also very much enjoy down the cheeks. Um, that's because they've got some scent glands down there. And when you rub down the side of the scent glands, it's a stimulating thing, and the the actual scent rubs off on you, which is a which is when you see a cat going up to something and rubbing its face. And they'll often do it on things like chair legs, shall we say, 
when it, you, you see it rubbing its face uh, down the side of the uh, the chair leg and that's what they're doing they're transferring the, from the scent glands on the, on their cheeks onto the uh, onto the wood the marking territory basically uh, but they find it um, enjoyable so when you do it to them um, they also do it to other cats as well so almost like a greeting between them so you are also emulating when you do that with a cat you're also emulating what another cat would do trying to sort of outline the eye here or create a pocket that's got the eye in it it probably won't show up too well on camera because it's it's a relatively sh short uh, shallow cut at the moment kind of want it to be deeper um, hmm. Actually, why mess around with trying to do it with a chisel when I've got a knife? Uh, and you probably found out um, at that point, uh, just Jessup, how we can eat without uh, without teeth. <laughs> their uh, their beaks are um, as hard as teeth. It's kind of like they've got one giant tooth. Um, hmm. I'm really not sure what I want to do here. But if, uh, I'm going to say the other thing that they're doing, because uh, they're eating vegeta vegetable matter, aren't they, anyway? So uh, I'm guessing that they probably rip a lot of it and then swallow it. Uh, I will say whole, but, you know, they're ripped to pieces. I'm trying to do here is create a sort of a, a rounded head it, it's too flat it really is too flat and uh, I don't like it <laughs> that knife or you mean this one where I'm working at this sort of angle <laughs> making people cringe when they're not uh, not aware of how I'm doing it I 
I got the knife out and couldn't actually decide what I wanted to do with it. Wood grain. Got to keep switching. You got to, got to. You know, it is important keeping the wood grain in, in the right angles, and that's the wrong one. I've got to come this way, but it's uh, it's real awkward to to keep switching just around here because of the uh, the fact the wood wood grain goes like that. So I've got to keep switching both directions. I need to round off the head a little bit. We're getting about being close. Actually, I wonder if I can. Yeah, let's let me see if I can actually take this neck down a little bit more. Away from the back of the jaw here. actually create a, a crease if actually talking about a crease if I use a V tool I can create the thing <laughs> uh, uh, yeah either twice the trouble or two for the for the price of one you know good value either way E tool is a good uh, a good thing sometimes for creating the sort of creases that, especially on things like a body, like the dragon here. I'm kind of creating a curved shape just around the jawline almost. That, ah oh dear. I drank a whole a whole uh, was it a six pint bottle of milk yesterday. Uh, when we, um, I don't know, my, my wife has this sort of, if something's got a date on it, you know, like milk has a use by, fruit juice has a use by on it. Um, if it's gone past the day, even if it was sort of yesterday, she won't touch it at all. And... Uh, so I usually get all the um, things like out of date milk or out of date fruit juice to drink. So the day after, and uh, with something like a, a, a nice fruit juice, I can actually drink a whole bottle of it in a couple of hours. So I don't actually mind because then she she's not complaining that I've not left her any because it's out of date. But it, it always it always strikes me as being really funny. In that she won't do it, and and I keep going. But the orange juice doesn't know what the date is. You know. <laughs> oh, delayed stereo. Yeah, the orange juice doesn't know what the date is. You don't have sort of microbes going in there looking at the watch. He's going. In fifteen seconds, we're going to contaminate this milk. Four, three, two, woo. <laughs> Especially since we actually use that Cravendale milk, for example, which is uh, which is really it actually lasts for an amazingly long time before it uh, it does tend to um, you know go off, shall we say, or whatever it is that milk does. Yeah, 
The um, and the other thing, if you if you realise that the there's two reasons why the um, the food industry puts those used by on or best or best before same thing really on. Um, one is that um, they're covering themselves, so they don't actually want you to sue them if you sort of feel ill having drunk it. Um, so they put that you know you've left it for six months and then drink it then you know they don't want you uh, don't want you suing them um, but of course the other one is you throw it away so you buy another one <laughs> so it's built in obsolescence of course merely it's the first reason you know they're, they're doing it to cover themselves but uh, it doesn't help that that means that you go out and buy another one so it doesn't harm them and of course if you think therefore they're being conservative because you know they don't want to be on the borderline they don't want you know they'll, they'll pick it you know maybe 10 percent might have gone off in that time um they're not going to pick a date which is where 95 percent has gone off so um you, you you know you can be fairly uh, fairly confident that at least a couple of days after that day it's going to be reasonably okay but you just it's just being sensible about it you open the bottle you smell it if it doesn't smell right or it doesn't taste right well you don't drink the thing well that's what i think uh, an intelligent person would do i'm sure there are other people that might take a different um uh, a different view on it and it says it's best before or it's uh, you know used by that means i can use it up to that date and if it's gone off well i can still use it it says so uh. <laughs> well i guess actually i mean in theory things like microbes can have watches um they can they can they can uh but by way, what I actually mean by that is they can actually detect a passing passage of time. Um, so it's sort of a similar sort of thing, really. It's all to do with body chemistry, but uh, body, yeah, microbe chemistry <laughs> rather than body chemistry. But you know what I mean. Cell chemistry is what I was trying to say. I can do here yeah. now if I can create a little bit more space just around the jawline here I can then round that jawline off a little bit more the top of the head's not so bad it's really just around I need to round the bottom of the face off as well I can actually make this look like anything I like. It doesn't have to be like the reference picture, so.
The reference picture has sort of uh, ridges on his forehead and things, but that's not something I have to put in. I just think it's quite amazing actually how much care I'm putting into a neck crease which ultimately is uh, is just there to segment the head from the uh, uh, from the rest of the uh, neck hey they're not waiting just Jessup they're all over the place microbes and viruses and that's Billions of them. They're all over the surface of this wood. They're all over your finger that you've just put on the keyboard. In fact, actually, uh, there's, there's been quite... It, here's, a, here's a fun fact for you. Uh, there is more... Most, it is more than likely that there are more bacteria or germs or, um, on your computer keyboard than there is on the average toilet seat. People never um, clean or disinfect the keyboards. Now I wonder how many people that suddenly made lift their hands off the keyboard just and take a look at it. <laughs> I think I want this neck just up around here to be actually be a little bit slimmer. So let's actually see if I can do that using this V gouge. I bet nobody wants to talk now after that I've been said that. They don't want to put their hands on the keyboard. <laughs> How to kill chat in uh, in in one or two easy sentences. <laughs> no, nope, that won't go in there. This might. Yep, it will. And then think about all those internet viruses that are out there trying to infect your PC as well. Everything's trying to get to you. So 
Does it mean you're paranoid if they actually are out to get you? So those of you that watch Twitch regularly, has it, has it really been really quiet these past uh, three or four days, or is it just uh, is it just me? <laughs> it seems to uh, there don't seem to be a, uh, a lot of viewers on Twitch at the moment. I think my wife had the, um, the theory that there's some international football matches going on and. That you know could have a lot of people watching uh, watching those rather than uh, watching Twitch, and of course Europe is coming into its uh, its summer period now, of course, and uh, lots of people will be well potentially be outdoors. I'm not quite sure that uh, applies to the uh, uh, to the archetypal uh, Twitch viewer though. If um, if the archetypes are to believed, of course, the average uh, Twitch viewer has no concept of what outside means. Yeah, you don't have computer games outside. What's this outside? <laughs> Just try to do here is just narrow the neck a little bit around here. Uh, apart from the fact I think it looked a bit thick, um, it will also give me a little bit more uh, room to uh, to round off the head. The only problem is, having created it, I've got to get the bits of wood out. It's a really tight crease, is that? I'm just concentrating. I don't know if anybody's replying in uh, chat just for the moment. I'm just uh, concentrating on trying to get little tiny bits of wood, slivers of wood, out from just in that gap because otherwise it looks untidy. Uh, Oh, um, you got a smartphone. Um, just uh, I'm assuming you don't mean the SMS messages, but uh, the smartphones that uh, that notify. Yeah, I don't know if you you might hear uh, hear occasionally some sort of chortle going off in the background, uh, and that's actually either my iPad or the well, probably the iPad and the iPhone 
which is at the other side of the room, uh, keep going off with a notice that you know, a streamer has, uh, has gone live. At this time, it's the last one is probably Matt Pendleton from uh, Train Simulator. Uh, he tends to go live about 9.30, so that was probably what the one I just heard was. Uh, Woman's Welt Cup. Hmm. I wouldn't have thought that would... Well, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I wouldn't have thought that would have garnered much, um, uh, much interest these days, but... <laughs> um, uh, Twitch and and, uh, and Women's World Cup uh, archetypal thing again. <laughs> yeah, that could explain it. Uh, just Jessup, I am um, I am being really sort of uh, naughty there, really. Given that I'm fifty odd, not all the uh, not all the members of Twitch are, are going to be sixteen or less. <laughs> and I know Eddie's a little bit older than that. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> That's lateral thinking. Is that just Jessup? Yeah. Need fresh air. We go outside. Well, I'll just open the window. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't like being. I don't mind being out in the sun. I just. I would prefer it if the sun wasn't quite as hot. <laughs> I don't mean. I don't mind a sunny day. The only thing is, a lot of, you know, um, it, well, it's not so bad now, but at, at one time, a lot of my hobbies were, uh, like the digital painting, for example, uh, I could only do on a computer. Um, I, I, ne I didn't do a lot of physical art at one time. So if I went outside, I had nothing to do. Uh, and then I got bored. I mean, these days it's, uh, it's somewhat different, apart from the fact I've got a portable computer. Uh, I mean, I can quite easily do things like carving outside now and, and all the arts that I currently do. Some are a bit awkward. Things like the sewing stuff. Uh, is it just a little bit awkward um, trying to keep the material from dropping on the floor and catching and snagging on things, but... A lot of it I can now do outside. I just need a nice shady spot. Yeah. You older than sixteen, eighty four guy. Talking about the Women's World Cup, I I I, I um I was about to, when um, Just Jessup said the Women's World Cup was on, I was about to uh, say, you know, I, I didn't actually think that would interest a lot of people. And I thought, you know, the the uh, archetypal um, Twitch viewer is, is a 16 or, or younger aged uh, boy. And so, therefore, a Women's World Cup might actually have a bit more interest. Um, but, yeah, the comment about you... You were, well. The comment was about me that uh, being fifty-three year old. Well, uh, not all, uh, not all Twitch uh, 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 people on Twitch. You know, a sixteen-year-old. And I said, I don't think you are either. It was kind of a quick paraphrase. It was it was more funnier the first time I said. Well, it was definitely funnier the first time I said it. it wasn't funny at all the second time.
Oh, you're a gym, uh, gymnast, uh, just just. I used to enjoy doing that at school. I mean, it's a long time ago, mind. A long, long time ago. But uh, I used to enjoy uh, that sort of thing, the uh, the tumbling type uh, gymnastics. Uh, yeah, springboard, somersaults, uh, the horse, that sort of thing. Now, what I want to do is carve that down a little. Yeah, the nose is the nose is quite narrow. His head's tipped as well, which yeah, okay. Let's see if we can do something like that. So the nose itself and the jaw is quite. It's going to be narrower than the rest of the face. Which allows the eyes to look forward rather than sideways. So we'll dig that down a little bit around there. Coming off the eye. So we'll shape the face a little bit like that. Um, yeah, that's okay just around there. Okay, switch to the little tiny gouge. <laughs> uh, just a little over 16, a 84 guy. It's the sort of comment my wife uh, will do. She'll go, um, I'm 21 and 100 months, <laughs> or that sort of thing, you know. quite a strong high bridge so let's actually see if I can make a bigger mess out of this I don't have a lot of room to make mistakes here really I guess if I do, I can always, as I say, I can always tilt the head down a bit. Um, yeah, he's he's turning his head back, so I can maybe get away with that. Okay, let's try and do a bit more shaping. Yep, yeah, that does make sense. That uh, finding the clients will be the difficult thing on that one. 
letting them know that you're there and can do that sort of thing. That's always the um, uh, the difficulty in a lot of uh, a, a lot of these. Um, what would otherwise be? Um, I'll describe them as, ho as hobby-based businesses. I mean, I'm not necessarily certain that's what you were talking about just yet, but uh, in the more bespoke stuff, uh, it's um, it can be quite hard to become noticed. To get word out there that you can do that sort of thing. Uh, I mean, once you're successful at it, it it's kind of self-perpetuating. But it's getting it out there to start with, and that's um, that's the hard thing. It's the same almost for any small business. Yeah. You're six year old. Yeah, I'm thirty times three. You can't. Yes, you can't do maths. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. Anybody who's after custom furniture, go to just Jessup. Then you can get him to give you a you know a thirty percent discount. So. You know, just divide the uh, the answer by ten, and that's how much you pay. I'm just trying to work out the details around the snout there. Uh, I can do that. That's. Can't make up my mind which chisel to use. To the back of the eye around there like that. Well just help me for the moment. It's not uh, it's not fantastically visible. We're just creating a little bit of a uh, a valley just behind the eye which I'll maybe do again with the knife in a minute. Let's just take that around. There, like that. I'm struggling really to get the shape of the head that I like. 
without losing a lot of wood in, in the process. Let's see if I can put a couple of ridges down his head there. Which is mean I'm going to have to come around the eye ridge as well. A little bit. Okay, so shaving small amounts of wood off here. It's kind of like drawing in a fight with a fine, uh, a light pencil, so you can rub the lines out if necessary. Um, I mean, obviously, I can't put the wood back, but if I can just draw it, draw it in in a smooth enough, oh, sorry, a shallow enough line that I can see, then um, I can always sort of carve around it a little bit. If necessary, I think I'm going to have to carve the top of the head, certainly. Uh, that jaw's too thick, but that's okay for the moment. The eye still haven't got that shape that I'm after. That's probably because of this. Uh, so that's the nose. It's because of the the bulk of the wood that I've got around here going down to the baseboard it's not letting me see the shape I'm, I'm wanting to achieve so I should probably use a bigger maybe that one A little tiny gouge, of course, as I said before, creates little tiny furrows. Um, I need something a little bit smoother, uh, and the larger gouge does that. It's also though harder to to drive straight down because it cuts a lot more material than the smaller gouge. Okay, that looks that's a bit better. Still not great, but it's a bit better. Uh, right, let's start by smoothing off that a bit. What I'm probably going to need to do, I think, here is undercut and actually do an almost three D carve of the head. I need to just do here first of all is just smooth off around the, the muzzle. Which is on the on the front of it here. 
Now you don't often carve the side of a 3D relief like this, but this is quite a deep relief, so certainly on some areas, like I said on the wing, I was expecting to have to do some of it. Um, I wasn't expecting to do it on the head, but it probably makes more sense now that I should. That's pointed. Um, it's not pointed enough yet. It's, uh, so we're going to. Yeah, I'm. I'm sort of um, talking a lot to myself while I'm doing this, and I'm talking kind of a shorthand trying to decide exactly what it is I'm trying to do. What I'm doing here on the top of the carve piece is, is just again as I was mentioned before I'm outlining Helps me to see the shape. Okay, well, that would need to be rounded off like that. That in itself, that's okay. Now then, the top of the head there is a little bit too. It's a little bit too sharp an angle, just straight down there, and that won't do. <laughs> Not quite, but uh, sort of that way. I, it's kind of an automatic thing, as you uh, have just as you realised. Um, I certainly will do that if the chat's really quiet. When I go into lecture mode, I actually speak um, real sentences. I don't got mm, yeah. Uh, well, I just sort of in, in the mood, uh, which is what I was doing. The shorthand is is really just. I, I call it shorthand. The actual fact I'm talk, I'm speaking rubbish. It's just noises. But in my own mind, what I'm I'm saying things to myself about where things should go. This re uh, I haven't cut any of this off, but this this is kind of a bit too uh, sharp an angle for um, the image that I've got in my head of this nose. Well, actually, it seems a bit too sharp an angle for any sort of image of uh, of a nose. 
It's sort of a snout type nose, which Im implies it's quite like a crocodile. Uh, now this is this can we can cheat that way because it's of the tilt of the head. The tilt of the head means that. It's and you, you know, this is a dragon, <laughs> uh, and it's a dragon on pern. Nobody's, not none of us here have ever been there, so. However, I do it. It's right, even if it looks really ugly. to cut that a little bit there that will then make it look a little bit better what look as thick The head's the head is sort of while well, the head's tilted back it's kind of tilted that way as well. It's actually a, a quite a complex shape. If you kind of think about it and uh, I knew the head was going to cause me a problem. I guess one of these days what I ought to try doing is carving uh, actual people's heads because uh, one of the things I have a habit of doing is if I can't do something like carve people's heads, um, I'll actually just go and do it. I'll make a mess of it, but I'll learn something. Which means that probably the next time I'll get a bit better. But... Um, I do have a tendency to just go ahead and do things that I can't do. Was thinking they just dress up according to your your last comment. <laughs> Do you like it when they're going to let Jim hold? <laughs> actually, it's actually it, it, yeah, it's a little bit difficult to do that on this because um, lecturing tends to imply I know what I'm doing, and I don't.
kind of wanted a longer snout than I've got, but what I've got there sort of looks okay-ish. Okay, default guy, good night, have a good evening. I hope you enjoy your book. Uh, next time you join the stream, you can tell us what the book was about. I like uh, science fiction myself. Not specifically hard science fiction. It tends to need to be some sort of... sort of science fiction I, be I, I like is science fiction which is believable. So... Star Trek, for example, is sort of believable. Having said which, I also like Doctor Who, and eh, that's sort of half believable, maybe. I don't know. Um, there's quite a few sort of famous science fiction authors that I'm just not greatly... Um, uh, but there again, I mean, I was thinking of just things that um, there's some authors I just can't uh, read very well either. I was thinking um, Heinlein is is one of the famous science fiction authors, and I never really could get into his books at all. I do enjoy a lot of books about time travel, and. Uh, been things like been, I'll say benign telepathy or um, um, teleport not teleportation um, well I suppose teleportation telekinesis which of course is uh, just happens to be a series of, uh, of books as well by Anne McCaffrey she was one of my favourite authors Okay, that sort of looks a little bit better to me now that I've uh, removed some of it. I'll, sh I'll show you on the camera uh, in a moment. Um, I've removed, removed some of the bulk of the supporting wood on this side. In fact, I'll show you now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and unpack this up. It's a little bit warm here. It's getting up to 10 o'clock. It's after 10 o'clock and uh, I'd quite like to uh, take, go back to take a look at some website stuff, watch uh, watch a couple of other streamers and have a drink before I, uh, I go to bed myself. So I'll just show you what uh, what I've, you probably weren't seeing me do very easily. And unfortunately my bin's not here, so I can't dump the bits in the bin. So let's just move that out of the way. Which will stop the camera going mad. Now what I've done is I've started to dig away under here. So that when you look straight down. If, uh, I mean, if you look you look at the wing here, for example, you're sort of looking straight down. You can, you can see the thick bit. It doesn't look like a particularly... Um, graceful wing it, you know, it looks like a real great thick block of wood and if you look at the top of head, the head it's kind of a great big thick block of wood but if I tilt it that way um, you, 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 well just just that way just you know, which is still looking you know looking up at the neck uh, the, the, the the beak almost um, it looks a lot you know, finer because I've undercut it. Uh, I probably want to do it a little bit more, but not much. Um, so that what I'm doing is, um, you can start to see if you if you look. It's a bit difficult to see, but I'm starting to this this. I've got an angle on the the top of the head here. I want to match it underneath at, at this to the at this top bit here. So I need to undercut it a little bit more. So the top and the bottom uh, will be roughly in line with each other, like a crocodile jaw, but with it, it tilted. Um, so the top of the head, I can't, I'm trying to, uh, 
So if that if that was the the jaw, it's the head's tilted like that. Okay, so it's rocked that way, um, and that should get help get over some of the problems I've got with the with the shape of the wood around here. Um, the head's a little bit short. It would have been really nice if this this um, snout would have been a, about quarter, maybe a quarter of an inch longer. But I didn't do that when I first uh, created it. Basically, I'm not fantastically good at reproducing the head. Um, from the reference image. Because uh, on the reference image it is that long, so... It's it's just my represent my my carving ability doesn't match the reference image I'm trying to uh, uh, to use, but there we go. Okay, oh, I might take a look at uh, Maria Sidner, Sin Snyder, Snyder, isn't it? S Snydner, Snydner. Um, I might take a look, see if any uh, grab me eighty four guy. Thank you very much. Um, but there we go. Um, so we've just been working on the head for the past an hour and three quarters. Uh, it's it's getting it's getting there. It's sort of mm, I think what I might do actually is um, narrow the neck a little bit more, just around here, just a touch. I think that might actually because the neck will be with making the neck a little bit narrower um, from here. I think it will actually give the impression of the head being a little bit longer. Even though it actually isn't. Don't want to do it too much though, because we're going to have that transition from this great big wide shoulders uh, around. Hmm. Anyway, making the best of a not quite so good job, but I'm pleased with the rest of it. So anyway, let's have a look. I'm not sure if there is anybody watching that's not uh, not following me. If you are, I certainly would appreciate you following me, but um, you don't have to if you don't want to. But it, uh, in theory, of course, it does let you know when I go live. And I've got a Twitter account as well that does the same thing. It uh, lets you know when I go live, so if you want to follow me, the details are either on the end plate or the, below the stream window. Um, I'm Z at Zeragon Art, of course, on uh, Twitter. And uh, otherwise, if you just want to uh, try and catch me tomorrow night from 8 pm, 20 hundred hours uh, British summer time, 19 hundred hours GMT, or if you take a look at your clock, two hours ago, but that, but tomorrow night, two hours ago, tomorrow night, if that makes sense, um, will be about when I go live. And we'll carry on with working on that head. So, everybody, thank you very much for uh, for watching. It has been fun having you around. Great to have a chat. And I'll uh, uh, see you uh, again. And thanks for the uh, spelling correction, uh, Edie Fall Guy. I shall take a look. Cheers, everybody.